Hello everyone, welcome to the Domestic Beauty Goddess. I'm Melissa and I am here to give you eight great tips for getting cute quick. Now if you can say that, we're on the right track. Now, most of you know from my other videos, I'm a busy mom, entrepreneur, um, matriarch of the household like many of us are, and I like to look good, you know, as good as I can, even if I only have a little bit of time. So I'm gonna show you some tips so that if you struggle in that area of taking care of yourself and that trio of getting the kids looking good, getting the house looking good, and getting ourselves looking good, let's try to have all three. Because you know the ongoing joke is uh, all of them can't look cute at the same time, right? Well, you know what? We're gonna do our best. Perfection is not the goal. Progress is the goal. So let's get started. First one. Sneak away, okay? Um, I have a three and a half year old and a five month old, and uh, you know what? I, if I need my 10 minutes to get ready, I find a way. I'll make sure they're secured, whether they're on the floor playing or if they're in their swing. Um, you know, I make sure that they are settled for 10 minutes. If you don't have 10 minutes, you don't have a life. If you don't have 10 minutes, find some tips to get 10 minutes to yourself. Two, clear your mind. You know, a lot of times people, not just women, but just people in general, you know, they don't know how to pull themselves away. They're always stuck in that mind of crazy thoughts. You know, is that deal gonna close? What was that person thinking when they made that comment? What am I gonna make for dinner? What's going on? What's that bump on my kid's leg? I need to do the dishes. There's always something on your mind, okay? This is your 10 minutes. This is your time. You're taking 20, you're taking 30, even better. But this is your time, clear your mind. Let it be meditative. Uh, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sage, I'm gonna sage this area, and this is gonna get rid of any negativity and um, any negative energy. That's what I'm gonna do. The smell helps me to clear my mind so that I can go into this as a ritual of taking good care of myself and you know, bringing my beauty and my power to the forefront, expressing myself how I wanna be uh, perceived. That's what image is all about. Now, am I like obsessed with my image? No, but do I take some pride in it? Yes, I love the process of getting ready, but I love what it does to the human psyche, okay? That's why I take it seriously. Get your 10 minutes and let's go through the rest of the steps. Now, the smudging of the sage clears the energy and then we're gonna bring some new blessings with some Palo Santo. Now, if you just have a fun incense that you like or if you have Christian music you like to listen to or if you like to burn or diffuse essential oils, please do. Whatever it is, this is your ritual. All as long as it brings you to state of clearing your mind, you know, putting yourself together, having that be a positive ritual that you empower yourself with. That's the point. Three, skin. Okay, I can give you all the makeup tips in the world, but if you're not taking care of your skin, you're making more work for yourself and you're making irreversible damage. I mean, you can go ahead and nip and tuck and inject and do all that stuff, but why not prevent? Now, simple skincare for me, um, I, you know, I'll use the Purity products to remove my makeup. I like the Purity uh, moisturizer. They also have a good uh, mask that, you know, works on blackheads. That works for me at this stage of my life. I also do intermittent peels and exfoliation with black soap. I'll get into more of that stuff in another video, what my skincare regime is. I don't have perfect skin. I have acne prone, oily, starting to age skin. By taking a little time to, you know, every morning and every night of taking care of that makes a big difference and it makes my skincare so much easier, makes my makeup go on so much easier and so much faster. So if you're getting ready in a pinch, Take care of your skin, it won't take that long. We're talking about the day-to-day, -day, walking out into that daylight, looking natural, looking fabulous, and looking fresh. Four, product choices, okay? Whatever products you use, try to make them multifunctional. Then you're not digging around in all of your makeup. You're not, you know, having to apply layers and layers and layers of stuff. Okay, I've gone over this in another video before, but I'm telling you, It Cosmetics is great for that, okay? They don't sponsor me or anything like that, but I absolutely love them and I will promote them because I believe in them. This product should work for you and work hard for you. And if they just do one little thing, you're gonna end up with thousands of crap that you don't even wanna use because you don't got the time for it, right? So, CC Cream, one of my favorites. It's been used, it's been loved. That's what I like to use. Five, brows, lash, lips if you don't have a lot of time focus on these areas 
and you'll look nice and fresh and beautiful. You don't always have to do layers of contour. You don't always have to do all of these bells and whistles. Focus on your brows, lashes, and your lips, and you'll be fresh and gorgeous and naturally beautiful. If you can add some more, awesome. But those main areas are really gonna make a big difference. Now that's taking into consideration that you're taking good care of your skin. If you're like me, yeah, I have my skincare regime, but I always put a little bit of this on. Not only because it evens out skin that has hyperpigmentation, but also because it has SPF. Put your SPF on, and again, you'll need less products entirely, which will save you time in the long run, and money too. I'm just gonna use this angle brush, and Anastasia pomade. That's what we're gonna do today. Really quick, I always start with the arch, with fresh product, then I do the tail, then I move it, the fat end, and I just lightly do inward. You can do that too. It's all angles, again. You see that? Boom, done. That didn't even take a full minute, okay guys? Trust me. Now one of my favorites right now, Bad Gal Bang. I got a mini one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I'm really picky about mascara, and um, I heard good things, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna do this. So Bad Gal Bang tends to give me, that down, um, that falsy lash look. But, um, you know, a great mascara makes all the difference. And, you know, I'm just gonna be running around with my kids today, got my mom visiting, so, and it's hot outside. I'll, um, so, you know, you wanna, have the basics down, okay? Um, if you want to add a little bit extra, some you know dark eyeliner or whatever, go for it. I usually have extra too, but if I'm just running around, I want to look fresh, I want to look natural, I want to look like I woke up like this, okay? If I'm gonna turn on the glam, I'll show you how to do that in another video. So I have all kinds of different lips that I like to use. Um, this is a great product for you know just like a simple natural flush look. This is the Victoria's Secret Plump Lip Plumper, and I love this coral one. It's my favorite. And it usually I do lips last. But you can see, just that little bit of color just makes me look more alive, right? Just that flush of lip. If you've got a favorite chapstick, I suggest getting something that has a little bit of color to it if you don't naturally flush in that area. Just that little bit really perks everything up. So you can see brows, lashes, lips. I can go run around and I don't look like I'm, you know, like I rolled out of bed. I look fresh, I look ready. Six, if you have time, go ahead and add this one in. This isn't optional, okay? You don't put too much um, concern into this. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add some warmth and I'm gonna put a little bit more of a highlight under my eyes, okay? So warmth, what I mean by that is um, a little bit of uh, bronzer and a little bit of blush. So what I'm gonna use is the Bahama Mama um, bronzer and I'm just gonna do just a little. I'm not doing some poppy contour, girl, okay? If you wanna do that, go ahead. But this is like real life. Put a little bit of warmth, make it look like you get out in the sun. A little here, not too much because you are gonna be in the daylight, right? And boom, I have dimension to my face, okay? Now that was just a little bit of bronzer. Too Faced, the Love Flush Blush. I absolutely love it. As you can see, I'm on pan, girl, and that's okay because <laughs> I'll just get another one, but when I love a blush, I use it till it's dead. Now, good thing about blush is that you can just close your eyes and put a little bit on your eyelid. Boom, I look just youthful and fresh and ready to go. Those are the basics, okay? Now I'm gonna put a little bit of um, a lighter color underneath my eyes. I'm what I'm gonna do is go a little bit lighter on my skin tone and use a medium. My CC cream is medium tan. So by using medium powder right under my eyes, and this is super creamy guys, it's not gonna get all, you know, crepey underneath your eyes if you're taking good care of your skin, right? So look at that, I didn't even have to do like some crazy um, con contour and, and highlight and all that stuff. And then I just blend it out. I'm just using a little A Cosmetics Kabuki brush. And boom, I have color to my face. I look fresh, I look good, and it's easy. I can go out with the kids and not embarrass them. I could also go on an appointment and show a house, talk to a client, and be fresh and be presentable and be taken seriously. 
7 setting spray. Okay, so there's all kinds of different setting sprays. For day-to-day, -day, I like to use one that is also a skincare. Um, what I use on the regular is Bio Elements Equalizer. So this is a skincare line and it's used for facials and all kinds of stuff like that. I use it before I put my makeup on and after. And what it what a good setting spray like this does is it makes it not makes your skin not look powdery. It blends everything together and it also the moisture helps to set it without using any heavy um, adhesives. Like I also have the Ultra Setting Vaporizer. This is if I have a heavier makeup um, and I want it to look beautiful for an extended amount of time. I don't go so heavy duty on uh, the setting sprays if it's just like a, you know, a simple day. That's more for like if I have an event and I know I'm going to be running around, I'm going to be sweating, or if I'm going to be showing houses in the heat and I'm with a client. Yeah, I'm going to go a little more heavy duty. No. It'll evaporate and I won't look so so dewy and so sweaty. But <laughs> all right, that final step that uh, will make you look great in a short amount of time, okay? Very quickly. Hair. Okay, yes, I'm a mom, I know. Brush that hair, girl. There are days I go out without brushing my hair. Brush that hair. Now if you have hair like me, that we don't wake up like this easily. I got big curly frizzy hair naturally, all right? And I have found skin or have found hair products that help me to be wash and go. Okay, um, get a good dry shampoo so that you can style it's less. <laughs> Look at that, I'm like powder queen in here. Yeah, obviously it's probably time to wash. To change the oil but I'm just gonna brush my hair and brush some dry shampoo into it and instead of falling to what do we do what do we do moms the messy bun don't do it some days I do it I can tell you that I feel and I know I look a lot better when I got some hair girl okay people it's very feminine, it's very lovely to have some hair. It makes you a whole different person to have the hair did. The hair did and the hair down, okay? I'm gonna mess with that a little bit more, but honestly, brush your hair, let it down, wear it down if you can. Um, if you're not going to, then take a second more than just tossing it up in a messy bun, because that is becoming, we're all too reliant on that, okay? When people see a messy bun, they might think if you're going out to do business with a messy bun and a little bit of naps down here like I do if I'm being lazy, um, you know, I'm not going to be taken seriously. If I can't take two minutes to do my hair and make it look somewhat decent, what makes you think I can handle your million dollar listing? <laughs> like, hmm, I might be cutting corners somewhere else too, right? Take the time, do the hair. Um, I style my hair maybe once a week and then the rest of the week it's dry shampoo. Um, you know, today maybe I'll do a cute ponytail, something like that, um, if it gets hot. But right now, I'm gonna rock my hair down because that makes me look put together in a quick amount of time. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you to narrow down all those things that we jumble in our head when we're trying to get ready, we're trying to keep it all together and look good and feel good. Um, here are some essentials, and I hope you can put them in your little tool belt and um and use them on the day-to-day -day and feel good empower yourself during this time this is your time and uh you know conquer the world if you like what i had to tell you today and what i've got to teach you please go down hit the subscribe button you can follow me on facebook or instagram the domestic beauty goddess i'd love to hear from you in the comments you have a beautiful day